Rick has this way of being very, very still in his body, but keeping his mind very active um, as a practice. When spent some time with him in Italy last June, and uh, we would tread water in his pool in the morning and listen to uh, History of Rock and Roll and 100 Songs. Mm -hmm. um, amazing podcast, mm -hmm. by the way. It is. Yeah. And, um, and then he would spend a fair amount of time during the day, you know, in this kind of meditative state where his mind is very active, body very still. And then Carl Dysteroth, when he came on my podcast, talked about how he forces himself to sit still and think in complete sentences late at night after his kids go to sleep. And, you know, there's a state of mind, rapid eye movement sleep, where your body is completely paralyzed and the mind is extremely active. And people credit rapid eye movement sleep with some of the more elaborate emotion-filled dreams and the source of many ideas. And there are other examples, Einstein, People described him as taking walks around the Princeton campus, then pausing and would ask him what was going on and the idea that his mind was continuing to churn forward at a high rate. Um, so, you know, this is far from controlled studies, but we're talking about some incredible minds and creatives who have a practice of stilling the body while keeping the mind deliberately very active, very similar to rapid eye movement sleep. And then there are a lot of People who also report you know, great ideas coming to them in the shower or while running. So it can be the opposite as well, where the body is very active and the, and the mind is perhaps more on kind of like a default mode network, not really focusing on any one specific thing. You know, interesting, there's a, there's a bunch of physicists and mathematicians I've talked to. They talk about sleep deprivation and going crazy hours through the night, obsessively pursuing a thing. And then the solution to the problem comes when they finally get rest. Right, and and we know, we just did this six episode special series on sleep with Matt Walker. We know that when you deprive yourself of sleep and then you get sleep, you get a rebound in rapid eye movement sleep, you get a higher percentage of rapid eye movement sleep. And Matt talks about this in the podcast and he did an episode on sleep and uh, creativity, sleep, and memory, and rapid eye movement sleep comes up multiple times in that series. 